my, my title is I'm a reverend, you know, so, so I normally distinguish between the pastor and the reverend. You know, for me, the reverend, it's a political calling. You talk of Reverend Martin Luther King, Reverend Jesse Jackson. You know, to have a title of a reverend, at least you need to have a minimum of an honors degree. A person can wake up and decide there's a good pastor. And, and the title pastor, quite often, it's associated with numerical growth of the church. How many are you? What is your tithe and offering? What, 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 what? You see, so, so my title does not put pressure on me on those things because I understand that Gitate, you know, there's um, uh, one, one Latin uh, American um, sociologist, Uti, a priestly struggle, it's a revolutionary struggle. I'm engaged in the revolutionary struggle. Ustokli Kamaikal Kwamet, you know, Ture, Uti, in black communities, religion and revolution coexist. Whereas Karl Marx Maga analyze religion, you say Europe, religion is the opium of the masses. You know, meaning Uti, they use religion to dispossess people or ukba bulala umkondo but giti the church is a site of the struggle for the repossession of the land economic liberation social justice instilling the mindset of self-reliance self-leadership self-management it is a site that seeks uguti ama community appeal where one of the biggest mistakes that is being done today Unfortunately, by the black church, you would see irrelegated, irresponsibility, a development, a community to politicians. You know, universities were started in the church. You go to your Dubai, your what, what, it is the religious leaders in those areas that are building their community. So we needed to move away from the pastor concept and, and go to the concept that Building communities goes hand in glove in development Yabantu. Take for an example during era ye 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 apartheid. What what your Africaners would do when they were doing their planning for Ringosi, they would say that per hundred thousand uh, young people between the ages of thirteen to twenty-five, you know, you need a university per hundred thousand. You need a university. Now, in our case, because there's a lack of proper planning and development. Ingos is a to the scale today, but abayen the IT scale. Ganja ni umdana akret the metric angazanga yen the ikosi enyanga your computer even if over a period of time because we are in a digital world, you know, and and. And, and again, our kids are not being taught self-sustainable skills. I also need to use my own hands, you know, be it be a carpenter, a plumber or something. You know, the education system in apartheid used to have that, you know, so that umuntu agwas guti abene sustainability, you know, nga pandle gwe skolo, but the type of education you are getting on our passing on distinction and still not get admitted to university. You know, that's why you find our, as one of our wisest young men and women ended up by Gupi, Bagunya Upe, you know, because the government Yavala in in that was a skills development. You know, so so they're pushing this narrow thing, Yoguti, you know, mathematics, what what we need to open ama skill centers abandu. Those schools were supposed to be used for adult education. You know, guti go up skill we abandu abadala abanganama skills, whether you give them computer skills, whether you give them gardening skills, but you need to give people ama skills as obeyens guti babenjani babe self reliant so that they can be able to use their hands to put bread on the table because the biggest struggle it's around that we need to see to it 
we empower people by bege isinkwa etafli. There's the situation. Um, I forgot who said this prayer. It's, it's just very popular. You know, one of the African leaders, Ute, when the white man came to our continent, he said, let us pray. After the prayer, he gave us the Bible and he took the land. So meaning okay? So so Tina Abafundi Sibabodak. Go a subject, the university that we studied, we called it black theology. Interpreting the Bible from the perspective of black power and black consciousness. We do not interpret the Bible from the perspective of the oppressor. We interpret the Bible from the perspective of the oppressed. Thus, we identify with the struggle, Guti. The dispossession of the land was a fundamental contradiction. With black liberation theology, we turn as the same God uh, with your oppressors. You know, it's, it's a very interesting question. It's a very interesting question in a sense that uh, if the white God has been doing all the talking, it's about time that the black God starts doing the talking. The white God is a God of oppression. We colonialism, we imperialism, we segregationism, we capitalism, we neo-apartheid, we neo-colonialism. So thus we are not praying to the same God. I'm praying the God of liberation, the God of an egalitarian society, the God of justice, the God who stands with the oppressed, the humiliated, the dispossessed. Okay, Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 to 28. Because that's the first commandment, you know, he says that then the Lord God said, let us form men in our image, in our likeness, let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the earth, over every crippling thing that creeps on earth. The first commandment was about the ownership of the means of production. Unfortunately, today the church ayaz with the commandment yo kala yi yo leyo take ownership of the means of production. Bazok Chergutu, the first commandment is to pray. No, the first commandment is you till the land, you own the, you own companies, you own shops, you own industries, you own, so that when you glorify God, you glorify God from a position of authority, from a position of power, you know, because if you start by praying, you'll have to go back for a job to the one who understand that the first commandment in the Bible being the ownership of the means of production. So we need to decolonize the church and begin particularly the black church and begin to say to the black church it is the commandment of God that we own the wealth of this country you know we are to be the creators of umnoto gundawo esiphila kuyo yi commandment yo qala leyo ekumele understand